What's up, what's going on? This is Kobe Bryant, and you're watching JR Sports Brief. So look, folks, it's Fan Friday. It's all about you all in your comments. We have some boxing, some NHL. Yeah, NHL on JR Sport Brief. We even have some baseball, but we're going to get things started with some NBA action. Yeah, I know it's September, but NBA is going to be here before you know it. But if you ever want to talk to me, hit me up on Twitter. Go find me on Facebook at JR Sport Brief. I see everything. I try to answer as many things as possible. Starting off with this first question from my main man, Akeem, on Twitter. We aren't too far away from NBA training camp. Is this year really about the Heat and the Lakers? Look, we all know the Miami Heat, they won the last NBA championship. And they also happen to add Ray Allen, who Boston fans now hate. And the Los Angeles Lakers, they are now even more of a super team than anything they were. Steve Nash, Kobe Bryant, Ron Artest, who I am calling Ron Artest, Pau Gasol, and Dwight Howard. If they stay healthy, there is no doubt in my mind that they're going to be the favorite. Yeah, I think a lot of people already forgot about the Thunder going to the finals last year. Let's see what happens. It's still ridiculously early. Even a Knicks fan like myself, I want to see the Knicks in the finals. I don't think it'll happen. Hopefully it does. But I think these are two teams a lot of people would really favor to go to the NBA finals. Moving on to the next question for Fan Friday. Drug Free George on Twitter, he says, will Pacquiao and Mayweather happen before the apocalypse? Now look. I don't know about that. I think we may actually see some Mayans climbing out of volcanoes before we see that fight. But at the end of the day, a lot of you have probably heard that Manny Pacquiao said, I'll take a piss and drug test the day of the fight. I will crawl through a hoop. I will even let Mayweather have the majority of the purse. You know what? I said this on Twitter earlier today. This fight is past its prime. It should have happened last year. It should have happened two years ago. And the fact that it won't happen if it does happen until next year takes some of the luster off of it. Do I think they're going to fight? No. Do I think the highest probability is probably next year? Yes, but these guys are past their prom. I don't know too many people who are going to be overly excited to see it, although I think a lot of folks will watch it. Moving on to this next question from Nick Lockinson. When will the NHL lockout end? You know what? That's not a question here for JR Sport Brief. You're probably better off asking Gary Bettman. I mean, uh, ain't nobody playing with sticks and a black puck where I'm from. Moving on to the next question. Jared Perez on Facebook, he says, what do I think about the Dodgers collapse? And he wrote a whole hell of a lot of stuff right there. Listen, man, the Dodgers collapsed while I was in London. I was in Los Angeles, and they were still leading the National League West. And at the end of the day, it seems like from my perspective that the Dodgers can't hit a damn thing right now, even though they brought in basically in the entire Red Sox organization. Listen to what my main man, part owner of the Dodgers, Stan Kasten, had to say. We're going to be aggressive right now to add players, to add stars, if we can get them. I think some of the actions we've taken this summer has uh, proven that we're going to be serious about this. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't uh, work out too well. The Dodgers are slim to none to make the playoffs this year. The 1,000th episode of JR Sport Brief is on deck. Should I bring back Julie to Hula Hoop? I think a lot of people would enjoy that. UFC 152 is tomorrow. Your main man, John Jones and Vitor Belfort and Peyton Manning or Eli. Eli had an extended practice last night with the Carolina Panthers. This is JR. You're checking out the Sport Brief. Hit me on Twitter. Hit me on Facebook. Real ass guy from the Bronx. I'll see you guys later. Have a great weekend. Peace.